Performance Task 2 Science 8 Quarter 2 Week 4-5 Disaster Preparedness Integrated Assessment Tasks Across Learning Areas Science Grade 8 Quarter 2 Week 4-5 Time Frame of Assessment MELC Week 4-5 Performance Task 2 Subject Science 8 most essential learning competencies. 1. Make an emergency plan and prepare an emergency kit. For use at home and in school. 2. Demonstrate precautionary measures before, during, and after a typhoon, including following. Advisories, storm signals, and calls for evacuation given by government agencies in charge. 3. Participate in activities that lessen the risks brought by typhoons. Directions, read the articles from Merleco below. Then, create a reaction paper by following the given guide. Use the provided rubrics for scoring reference. I will survive. Introduction, located along the typhoon belt in the Pacific, the Philippines is visited by an average of 20 typhoons every year, five of which are destructive. Being situated in the Pacific Ring of Fire makes it vulnerable to frequent earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Its geographical location and physical environment also contribute to its high susceptibility to tsunami, sea level rise, storm surges, landslides, flood slash flash flood slash flooding, and drought. The above mentioned disasters are the reasons why we should always be prepared. Materials, paper slash bond paper. Pen. Guide. 1. Compare and contrast on the preparedness during disaster. 2. Using inductive and deductive reasoning in an arguments in time of disaster. And 3. Give the importance of safety to avoid hazards in the workplace especially during disaster. Article 1. Typhoon Safety Tips In Preventing Electrical Accidents a little care and vigilance goes a long way to help you avoid a good deal of damage, and ensure your family's safety. Here are a few reminders to keep in mind, snug as a bug stay indoors where you are protected from the typhoon. Stay tuned monitor the storm's progress by listening in the news advisories and storm warnings. High and mighty move immediately to higher ground. Water levels can rise where flash floods can occur. Glass house stay clear from glass windows as they may shatter. Strong winds can carry various debris that may hit your windows. Broken glass can cause severe injury. Long gone stay away from coastal areas. Strong winds and currents can cause sea levels to rise quickly and result in storm. Surges. I think I can, I think I can do not drive a light vehicle through flood streets, you can either lose control or risk stalling. Show me the way turn on your headlights and drive slower in the rain. Turning on your headlights alerts other drivers and also helps with your visibility. Show me the way keep a safe following distance between you and the vehicle in front of you. The distance between you and the vehicle will give you enough time to react and stop when necessary if the car in front of you suddenly stops. Article 2 Earthquake Safety Tips What to do in case of an earthquake Nothing beats a study desk. When you're inside a building, remember to, duck, cover, and hold. Duck duck or drop down on the floor. Cover take cover under a study desk or furniture. Hold hold onto the study desk. It's just a flight of stairs do not use the elevator, take stairs instead. Avoid being trapped. Inside the elevator in case of power failure, use the stairs instead. Turn the other cheek stay clear and face away from windows as the glass may break and shatter. Shaking may cause the window pane to become deformed and cause the glass to break. Exit stage right stay put until the shaking stops. Move only when it is safe to do so and calmly proceed to the nearest exit. As you make your way to the nearest exit, Stay clear of tall objects that may topple over and other falling objects. 
Wide open fields stay clear of buildings, trees, power lines, and other structures that may topple over. Only a matter of time stay clear of coastal areas. Move immediately to higher ground tsunamis are sure to follow. After an earthquake, coastal areas are prone to tsunamis, receding. Shorelines and a rumbling sound are signs of a tsunami coming. Sticks and stones stay clear of steep slopes, which may be affected by landslides. Ground shaking may affect steep slopes of mountain sides which may result in landslides. You can never be too sure if driving, stop at a location free from falling objects. Do not cross bridges, overpass, or flyovers. Ground shaking may have damaged the structural integrity of bridges, overpass, and flyovers. You can now proceed doing your reaction paper. Your output will be graded using the following scoring rubric. Use this rubric for scoring reference. You'll get 20 points if the reaction paper discusses three or more things to do before, during and after a disaster. 15 points if the reaction paper discusses two things to do before, during and after a disaster. 10 points if the reaction paper discusses one thing to do before, during and after a disaster and 5 points if the reaction paper did not discuss what to do before, during and after a disaster.